era that I did with your Rakims and your KRS-1s is very disappointing. And this guy's supposed to be the up-and-comer. We living in a time, Fessa. We living in a time. Back in three minutes, the Doug Stewart Show. Ladies, have you been experiencing tough times lately? Is your man not eating the potato salad the way he used to? Things a little stressful at work? Well, I'm sure your girls have told you that there's a new spot in town. So come on over to SME After Dark and allow me, Christopher Tracy, and the Honorable Deacon Aloysius Forever Love serve you up with some solutions to your problems in the Lonely Hearts Cafe. If I tell you that I love you, then I love you. I love you. If I tell you that I trust you, then I trust you. I trust you. But don't lie to me. Hey you, it's your girl Spicy, host of Spicy Conversations. Join me and my sexy guest as we discuss relationships, sex, and lots and lots of pleasure. Pleasure. A full two hours of erotic fun that you don't Don't want to miss. miss. Are you ready to add some spice to your life? Hell yeah you are. And I am ready to please you. you. Spicy Conversations, SME After Dark. The sleeper pick, the guy only you believe in. In one week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut, trust your numbers, trust your Uncle Vito if you want, but know this, that sleeper is out there. The question is, who's gonna play him? This is DraftKings, welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on thedougstewartshow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. So we got this, uh, <laughs> this is a woman's Wednesday. We got this uh, TV in studio here. And that that Von Miller, John Madden football commercial came up. When I tell you, that commercial makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody tell me what dance is that that Von Miller is doing, man, because he is absolutely killing it. It's like the octopus dance. Like, he just throws his arms all over the place. I'm going to call it the octopus dance. He just throws his arms all over the place, and he he bends down, and he's real serious with it. If you're from a little small town, you know how the old men, when when they, you know, drink a snootful. A snootful is when they drink liquor. That's, that's what they, I don't know where they got that from, but... You know when, a, when an old dude done had a snoot full, and he's sitting around the, the local juke joint, a little hole in the wall, man, and he'll just start dancing. And there's been a couple of dances created from old men, man. Von Miller clearly got that dance from an old dude in his neighborhood, man. <laughs> I love it! I love that dance! If you've never seen this video, man, they, like, Photoshop transposed him, like, five, six different Von Millers. And he's in different outfits, and he's promoting this mad... He's actually singing a Drake-like song. Now that I think about it, we were just talking about Drake. He's supposedly singing this Drake-like song, and he's dancing. He's doing this little sack dance. But he's serious about it. Like, he has a serious look on his face. Like, he's really doing, like, you know... Break dancer like he's the Bronx City Rockers or something like that. Hey, listen, if you plan on going to South Carolina State's homecoming this year, 
I know there's a lot of listeners that listen to the show that went to school with me and that are planning to be in Orangeburg October 22nd for the homecoming. Uh, I have an opportunity for you, man, to win two nights stay and free breakfast, uh, free breakfast at South Carolina State's homecoming. Okay? Uh, there's an opportunity to win two nights stay. You understand how they get down in Orangeburg for homecoming? Uh, they price gouge the hell out of you. And so two nights free stay at homecoming is probably an incredible, an incredible value. Okay, and this is all done um, to benefit the SCSU Foundation. Okay, so here's what you need to do. Go to Paws, like dog Paws, P-A-W-S, Paws for a cause, S-C-S-U dot Eventbrite dot com. That's pause for a cause. SCSU.eventbrite.com. All right. And uh, make sure and tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Homecoming going to be crazy this year. Yeah. The word is out. The word is out. We're actually going to announce the winner on, on my show on October. Uh, when are we going to announce? So we're going to announce the winner on October 10th. Homecoming is October 22nd. So we're going to announce the winner on October 10th. Okay, right here on the Doug Stewart Show. All right, so two nights stay Friday and Saturday night at homecoming. Uh, South Carolina State homecoming. Paul's for a cause. SCSU.eventbrite.com. Uh, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Uh, y'all seen that little clip of Jameis Winston at halftime with Florida State and Ole Miss? And did you, did you see Jameis Winston? He's got a career as a motivational speaker. That was good. That was good. Florida State was trailing Ole Miss 28-13. to It has spent much of the first half out of sports and uh, out of all kind of plague mistakes and all types of crazy stuff, man. Uh, then Jameis Winston came in there and talked to them boys, and they ultimately won, forty-five to thirty-four. Yeah, uh, he, he did, there's a little video of Jameis in the locker room. I guess old uh, the ball coach allowed him to come in there. Uh, Dabo was it Dabo, Dabo or Jimbo? No, Jimbo. I, I always confuse Dabo and Jimbo. Uh, Jimbo Fisher, head coach, let him come in there, man. And it, it was good. I mean, fiery. You know, he sounded like a head coach. And he told them boys to get off their ass, and they got the best wide receivers. They can't beat us. And I don't know. They were a totally different ball club in the second half. You can say what you want. And I love stories like this because you kind of see, you know, with all of the controversy surrounding Jameis Winston and – you know, the crab legs and all like that, he, 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 hell, and all of that stuff that he did or whatever when he was at Florida State. Um, the outburst, jumping up on the table, you know. Uh, that that a lot of people, man, feel like Jameis Winston was a leader of that organization, that program, winning a national championship, playing in a second. Um, and the sky is the limit for this kid. <laughs> the sky is the limit for this kid, man. I am so excited to see him this coming weekend. Speaking of which, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Jameis Winston come to the Georgia Dome this weekend, downtown ATL, the same exact weekend as TDSS Weekend 2. Yeah. And so... I mean, that's going to culminate the whole weekend. If you listen to the show, you know that this weekend is uh, the second year anniversary of the Doug Stewart Show here in Atlanta. Uh, people are coming from far and wide <laughs> uh, to come and hang out, meet with your boy. Uh, Friday night, Cafe Circa, 9 p.m. on the rooftop. We're going to be out there. That's the official meet and greet. Saturday at 7 p.m., we're just going to hang out at uh, Twin Peaks and Buckhead, watch some football. The, the game, it's not really a big game. Uh, but the game that you know will be on will be Tennessee and Virginia Tech, and we're just going to hang out, man, and you know sip a little and eat some wings and whatnot. And then Sunday, man, as I just talked about, Falcons host the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Georgia Dome. 
The Two Live Stews official tailgate will be on and popping. The first one of the year. Uncle Ray will be in town on the Big Barrel Grill. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. And so, if you can make it down, man, come and hang out with your folks, man. I really appreciate you, your support and your patronage for this show, man. So, uh, if you can make it to ATL, man, come and hang out at a couple of the events, man, and meet the Stewies, meet the listeners to the Doug Stewart Show. But, yeah, Jameis, man, uh, I mean, you understand why Jimbo wanted to continue to give him chance after chance. Uh, obviously, it paid off. They won a, a championship. They made it to another one. Um, so it, it definitely worked out. It definitely worked out. And um, I can't wait to see what Jameis does to with his game. If this game goes to the next level this year, I cannot wait. All right, coming in at number two on my list of top five TV crushes of my youth. Um, do we have the music ready for that? No, we don't have the music ready for it. I can just tell you. Coming in at number two on my list is none other than Charlene from Different Strokes, but the world knew her at the time as Janet Jackson. Yeah. Man, I can't even start to tell you. When Janet Jackson first coming on, uh, started coming on Different Strokes, man, I mean, she was, I mean, and we're right around the same age. I believe that me and Janet Jackson are right around the same age. So, you know, I thought that, that I had a possibility to, you know, maybe get her to do something strange for some change or something like that. She's 50. She's a couple years older than me. That even made it even sexier. <laughs> Fellas, if you're around my wheelhouse, my age wheelhouse, and you remember different strokes, when Janet Jackson first hit that scene, when she became um, Willis's girlfriend, was Janet Jackson not looking fine as white wine on that show? <laughs> Ooh, we. Wow, Janet was looking super fine. Because, you know, the last time we had really seen her on TV, she was little penny on good times. Getting burned by irons and all whatnot. I mean, that wasn't cute. And at that age as well, we weren't really paying attention to girls like that. We'd rather play marbles. But then when Janet Jackson came back, she reemerged. It wasn't Little Penny. It was the sexy teenage Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson's little sister. And she was old soul, uh, puberty, and uh, she did things to me. So coming in and... <laughs> Yes, sir. Coming in at number two on my list is the great Charlene from Different Strokes, Janet Jackson. Yeah. Am I lying about Janet Jackson on Different Strokes? Damn, she was fine. Damn, I hated Willis. You know, that was one of my first hater moments of my life, man. I hated Willis on that damn show because he had Janet Jackson, man. Because he had Charlene. Good old punk ass Willis. Big ass shag and whatnot. Janet Jackson, Charlene, his girlfriend. I hate your ass, Willis. Damn, I hate you, Willis. Hey, we'll be back in a, in a minute with Spicy. We'll talk a little bit about number one on our list a little bit more. And we'll wrap up this show. Don't go away. The Doug Stewart Show. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. 
BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, 